Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create 3D product animation with using Element 3D and After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create solid layer. Add name Element 3D, click OK and go to FX and Video Copilot, Element. Go to click Scene Setup and click Import. Select this model and click open, click OK. So we have simple 3D iPhone 15 model. And let's add textures. Open model here. Select this material zero and go to diffuse. Let's click here and open folder. And let's open texture folder. Select this material zero, click open and click OK. Okay, as you can see here, new material here and select this material 5, again click here, select this material 5, click open and OK. So right now select this model and move to up. OK, go to create and let's create new cube and move to behind to mobile and click scale tool change scale like this okay and let's click move tool go to physical shader and metal i want to use this texture for this cube okay okay this looks luxury and Select this box. Let's control D for duplicate and move right. And move to down. So right now select this model and move to right. And let's select this rotate tool. Select this red line and hold shift change rotation like this. Okay, let's change rotation more and select this move tool, move to up and select this cube, move to down like this and also select this scale tool, chain scale and we can move to down a little bit this cube. Okay, let's see. So in this time, select this form model and select this rotation tool. And let's select this blue line and hold shift, change rotation like this. Again, change rotation for C backside. Click move tool and move up. Okay, let's chain a little bit rotation. Okay, not bad. So let's click here and enable show ambient occlusion for realistic shadows. And click move to let's go to environment and let's open envir environment lights. And for example, let's try use this environment. So go to create and let's create new plane and change scale change more and back to scene materials and use this texture for this plane okay so let's click ok so let's create new camera tool right mouse new and camera and don't change any settings click ok and I will use camera controls with C button or we can use this icons so let's press c change camera view and let's zoom to first pause here okay let's change a little bit to back okay so let's back to element 3d 
go to scene setup and select this box model select scale tool and chain scale like this okay so let's click ok and let's zoom to from like this change view so select this camera one again and let's open inside and let's add keyframes for camera movement and go to five seconds press n and first go to first second press c change view like this and go to five second again let's hold shift change like this and also let's move to right to center let's see okay that's good and select this element 3d go to render settings and physical environment let's enable show in background and open ambient occlusion enable for realistic shadows change intensity 10 so close here and open lighting let's for example use sun let's see okay not bad we can try other light types or let's use basic okay let's keep basic so in this time let's close camera settings and go to project let's right mouse and new composition add name edit and click ok select this product mobile move the inside edit composition and let's see timing okay right now let's cut like this move to left and in this time go to edit and split layer or ctrl shift d delete composition select this product mobile let's ctrl d for duplicate and move to inside here and move to right open composition select camera press u and delete last two keyframes also can delete all these keyframes select element 3d and go to settings open world transform and as you can see a world rotation let's make x y and z rotations and select element 3d press use for c active keyframes go to last seconds and change rotation like this also can change z like this and camera x let's see okay pretty good so in this time let's select this camera one open inside and camera options let's turn off the both field and change focus distance okay change aperture and blur level let's see nice let's go to first second and create focus distance keyframe and go to five second change distance like this and go to here let's create new aperture keyframe go to last second and change aperture like this so back to edit and let's see timing okay very nice and in this time go to edit again split layer and delete compensation select work area for five seconds and let's preview animation okay that's good so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck